Let's go. Head smash. Show him the damage. Massive damage. <laughs> Feels good, man. Oh, we crit too. Can I one shot that Lapras with a Tyrantrum? I think I can. Oh, I think I can. Uh, let's see though. Tyrantrum. What else would we be wanting to lead with? Like, because the problem would be that Clefable. If he wants to go Clefable. And Tyrantrum's fast, right? So we have to leave with something. I think I just want to go like Tyrantrum Metagross. Because I think it's actually like a super, super solid lead. Great versus Lapras. Good versus Urshifu. Uh, against Cinderace, we do outspeed. I'm just going to Oko it. So, actually, do we outspeed a Cinderace? I'll try. I'll see what we can do. Um, I think Sash Lele is really, really good here. And then I'm looking at the board state. I don't actually think we want Salamence as much as we would like Zapdos. Because Zapdos is great versus... A majority of that board, Zapdos, is pretty nice. Didn't think it was going to happen today, but thanks for streaming. Yo, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. It's currently Thanksgiving when I'm streaming this game. If this ends up making it on YouTube. Yeah, I'd much rather fight against Clefable than Clefairy, I would say. But, like, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how Tyrantrum does in this first game. I wonder if I'm respecting the Lapras too much. If it's just Lapras and, like, not Redirection, we'll see. I'm thankful for your consistent, awesome content. Teach me about my favorite game. Yo. Thank you for the kind words. Let's see. Clefable Lapras. It's almost like I play the game, right? It's almost like I play the game. And you know what else it's almost like? It's almost like I'm ready to deal some deeps. Some DPS. So Tyrantrum. So the way this Tyrantrum goes. Yeah, we could head smash like a fable, right? Yo, 45 big bits. I appreciate you. I don't want to miss. I actually just want to proc my weakness policy on my Metagross. And we're actually going to be fishing for some special D boosts. Right? So make it so that Lapras doesn't do anything. Uh, we should be able to kill the Clefable this turn with the double into it. So we're going to go uh, Dynamax in our Metagross. We're going to proc on a policy. Remember, we're getting that speed control up as well. It's so nice. Yeah, he's going to be able to get up his screens. Um, and yeah, my team is super weak to ice. But like, if we have a Lele Metagross next turn and we have like a, a Spadef boost, I think we can actually do a good amount of damage like the rest of the team. Wait out the max on the Lapras. And then from there, we just dumps the Lapras with the Metagross and we're golden. So let's see how he wants to play it. Obviously, he's going big max Lapras, and I did max first, so that means I'm probably going to be a little bit faster. We'll see, though. We'll, we will definitely see. Hope I don't just, like, crit my Metagross for this Tyrantrum, too. I mean, you know he's going after it, too. He has to be going after that slot. I almost want to say, should I send out Zapdos or Lele next turn? Probably just the Lele. And save the Zapdos in the back. Protect Clefable. That's so... Scumbag. Who protects their Clefable? I mean, I'm still going to get my step boost, so it doesn't really matter. But I actually think it's probably better that I'm doing it like this, too. Because, like, the longer that we wait on this type of board, I think the better. But what a patient play. What a patient play. Can you completely let, let me just hit that Lapras, by the way? I could have just head smash and max to hit the Lapras. I think it's so sneaky when people do that. Like, what if I just was going to hit your Lapras, Chief? Uh, I'd much rather get this damage to stick on the Clefable, though, because it goes through potential Sash. We get to see if it's like leftovers or something weird. If we get a spadef boost on both of our monsters, it's going to be pretty important. And so by the time he actually wants to come out and go for like the resonance, by the time he actually wants to start hitting our uh, our Metagross, we're going to be fine. So we lose the Tyrantrum first turn. A little bit never lucky. We should be able to take that Clefairy, Clefable out. Sorry. Let me think about this. I wonder if like we're able to Oko. Is that uh, leftovers? All right. We're going to have to double one of that slot, I think. Because now he has a Resonance up. Oh, we have Lapras. Sorry, we have we have Lele and Zapdos. I'll just go with the Lele. I was thinking, is it not always better to invest EVs into HP instead of Special D or Defense? Surely HP covers both types. It does, but the thing about it is, like, some Pokemon have different, um... It's like, they get, like, diminishing returns on certain things. So, like, it depends on the Pokemon. It really does depend on the Pokemon. Uh, most of the time, you want to go, uh... Those type of things first, though. I wonder... I wonder... I'm gonna go for the, the Psychic there. And I'm thinking about, like, switching it up and going for, like, a Steel Spike. Because I think he might have, like, big defense mons in the back. But, like, we're just gonna go for more special defense boosts in our Metagross. And just make our Metagross, like, an unkillable machine. If he wants to switch in the Urshifu, he's gonna take a ton of damage here. Helping Hand. If he doesn't even care about that thing. Um, he's not gonna be able to do that much damage here. I think I can get rid of the uh, Clefable with the Double into it. And he only has one turn left of Max. Yeah, we'll see. This is a plus two Max Quake. Curse with head smash. Yo, we'll see. Awesome. I'm happy that thing's gone. That thing going away is really, really good for me. 
So let's see, we have two special defense boosts. I wonder if he's resonancing the Lele. We're fine, we're just not hitting the Lapras. We hit the Clefable, because the Clefable's more of a threat than Lapras is. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Why isn't their ability move, like Intimidate, will miss, but for special attack? Because it wouldn't be balanced. The game would not be balanced. The game currently in its iteration, like, caters to, like, dealing with physical options and then using, like, screens and Calm Minds, because, like, the Pokemon that get certain moves, like, it'd be, it would be way too unbalanced. It would be way too unbalanced to actually add that type of thing over special attacks. Special attacks already have a little bit harder time because of the fact that, like, special attacks are stronger for the most part. Like, because I can't really get into it, but, like, there is a very, like, so everything can learn Thunder, but, like, two Pokemon can get Volt Tackle, right? So the fact that, like, special attacks and physical attacks aren't equal in their ratio of Pokemon that even get them, and the fact that special attackers have a lower base special attack, it's it's just a lot harder to play the game correctly. Speaking of playing the game correctly, we're just going to get this Rotom off the board. Like, I know that people's, like, OCD are really protecting. That's so crazy. Imagine special walls if you could cripple the opponent's special attack. Like, it, it's, it just wouldn't make the game balanced. I think that's a really, really weird attack. Oh my gosh, that did so much! I did a lot, actually. Alright, so it's gonna be Metagross. Did I make this team? Yeah, we just threw we just threw six months together. Yeah, you have to get that Rotom off the board. Zapdos will outspeed and take it out. I wonder if that's what I want to do, though, because I think that, like, we can even come in with Zapdos and just pop a Protect and then go after the Rotom the next turn. And then we'll double into the Lapras in the last turn. Because Rotom's going to have to have his Protect on cooldown here. Yeah, we'll see. This is going to be a hard one. Yeah, we're going to Detect, though. And then we're just going to go after the Rotom uh, with a Zen Headbutt. We'll see what we can get done here. For Kanto or Galar forms, it depends on the it depends on the bird, really. It really does depend. I wonder if he's going to switch out for Urshifu. I think switching out for Urshifu would be so sus. Because, like, at this point, he doesn't have to switch out for Urshifu, right? I think if he just leaves the Rotom and he gets Urshifu in sh safely, he's probably fine. Because, like, if I doubled into the Rotom, he'd be in for a bad time. I don't want to eat, like, two Hydro Pumps either. But, like, you have to sort of respect my Zapdos a little bit, don't you? Is Physical Venus are worth? I would say it's not worth. I would say that it's big not worth to go Physical Venusaur. It's hard enough to use Special Venusaur sometimes. Vtex up. I want to see the ally switches. Thunderbolt, go for it, Chief. Go for it, son! Zen Headbutt? Yes, connections are made. That's awesome. Alright, so we have plus two D special defense. Goes for the Thunder. Blocking it up, yo, Zapdos! The Master Baiter extraordinaire. So let's see what the last mon is. Cinderace! Ooh, that hurts! That does hurt a lot indeed. Um, I think we just have to go for, like... We want to go for the Brave Bird just because we want that thing to take, like, big damage. He might Sucker Punch me. But, like, we have to get that Brave Bird to stick. And then we want to just go for an Earthquake, I think. I don't think he's going to turn into a Flying-type. Like, I don't think he bounces here. We'll see. He could bounce on, like, Thunder or Zapdos. I don't think that's what's going to happen. Like, it's hard to say, though, right? He might just Sucker Punch the Metagross. Protect Lapras? Yo, why would I ever hit that thing? When I could just win! Bounce. He actually is bouncing. That's so nutty. Uh, we're just going to be able to protect the, the Zapdos next turn, though. So we're not going to take any damage here. And we're just going to be able to dumpster that Cinderace when he lands with an Iron Head. Actually, I probably could even... No, we just want to do it exactly like I'm doing it. Yeah, we're just going to detect. And then rovel has gone, so we should be able to Oko the Cinderace here. So we're just going to detect. And I'm actually thinking... Yeah, we'll just detect there, and we'll just go for an Iron Head. Should be able to get the KO. Yo, is that a gifted sub as well? Captain Fallon's up here getting gifted a sub, and Luxius getting gifted a sub. Yo, Ruta21, yo, spreading that Thanksgiving positivity. Yo, we're getting some subs gifted on a very wonderful day. Don't just want to lose our Zapdos just yet. Iron Head's popping it off right now. Hope we get that big KO. Who who uses Sash Cinderace? No one, right? He actually went for the bounce. This guy played, like, super well. Um, we, bought, we got Protect Braided multiple times in a row. And it didn't even matter. We literally, like I said, someone's like, That's, are you okay? You didn't dumpster the Lapras. And I was like, I didn't need to dumpster the Lapras. 
I didn't need to dumpster the Lapras. So let's just win. Thunderous kick. Thunderous win. And let's win. Get that defense drop. Thunderous kick. Drop that defense. Mr. Emotes. Yo, you're back in action. Just one shot of the Lapras. Yo, feels amazing, man. Feels amazing. I'll take those wins. That's a solid win. Considering we were playing from behind like the whole time. Feels good. Feels thankful. Feels thankful, man. I'm gonna go Crobat. Yeah, let's go Crobat this game. Crobat Metagross. We're gonna bring the Tyrantrum in the back, but I don't think it's gonna make an appearance. And then I think Sash Leo is really good here. Sash Leo is such a good, such a good Pokemon. Let's see how it works. Sally might have been a good play here. Vested Sally is super thick. It's actually not that bad against Porygon. It forces them to Ice Beam. You can hard switch into Metagross from there. Waste out their max turns. And we'll see though. We'll see if the Porygon has like Ice Beam or Dark Pulse. It depends on which one it's really carrying. Because you know he has the Protect. You know he has the uh, the Hyper Beam. And then the second attacks usually they carry the Ice Beam or Dark Pulse. And then maybe like a... Sometimes, sometimes they carry Trick Room. Casuals are so much more fun than ranked. He really wants that Porygon though. Yeah, I think we're just going to set the max guard right now. Tail wins up, yo. They're just going to hit the fairy slot. Happy Thanksgiving, yo. Happy Thanksgiving. Psychic Ghost is bad defensively? That's that's debatable because, like, you know, they, they say the best defense is a good offense. And that's, like, really good. Because it's, like, literally, you can abuse Psychic Terrains. Uh, you can't be fake-outed. Um, there's so many good things that Ghost provides offensively. Thankful for the stream and learning a lot. Yo, I appreciate that. I would say that as an Uber, that's not frail. Sorry, as an Uber, that is frail for the Calyrex. But as a regular Pokemon, you know, that's... As an Uber, it's frail. But as a regular Pokemon, it's not. It's like Celebi, like the Celebi Drachis, things like that. Those are all base 100s across the board, I think. And they're they're not that frail. But then you don't ever put points in those bulk stats. If you don't put points in it, they end up being not frail. Why do people keep protecting with their follow me users when I could just hit their mod in the face? They always do it. That's nutty. Again, we'll see what he goes for. If he wants to go for like a freaking massive, crazy Dark Pulse play. Yeah, we're just doing this to like potentially break Sash, get some good damage next turn. I can definitely just go a lot more damage into that slot. If he wants to switch, it's completely fine. I think he's going after the Crobat. But we'll see. Max Strike. Go after the Crobat, Chief. Yes. Feels amazing, man. So we have Tyrantrum. It's there. I see him. I'm gonna do it. You're not ready, Chief. You're not prepared to deal with what I have right now. I'm gonna do it. Uh, uh. Do I wanna send up another Max Quake? I don't need to set his Mindstorm. I don't really want the defense boost. Yeah, just go for this. If I don't KO, I don't KO. I don't really think it matters. Because once Porygon's Max turns are out, that's fine. Well, let's go. Head smash. Show him the damage. Massive damage. <laughs> Feels good, man. Oh, he crit too. Yo, dumpstered. I would like one shot your Porygon, Chief. And this guy's going. This goes into the Porygon. It's good damage. What's he going to do? He's going to freaking max strike my Tyrantrum. No Patreon teams today. Not today. I just wanted to. I made this team super quick. I googled Thanksgiving Pokemon. It showed me a bunch of brown Pokemon, and I went to my boxes looking for Pokemon that were brown. And it showed me Tyrantrum. So I'm actually really happy that uh, he's orbed. Cool. Um, I'm happy he went after the Tyrantrum there. Because it makes my meta go thick for longer. We got one special D-boost. Probably going to get... Sorry, we have two special D-boosts now, so we're actually super thick. We can just double into that Porygon. Oh, it's going to send out, like, Urshifu or something? I dare you. Send out Duraludon? I dare you. I will destroy it. Cool. 
Do I, do I, do I care about that thing? I don't think I care. Alright. I think we're actually just going to go Psychic Max Quake. Because there is a chance that Porygon actually goes down from the Psychic here. I could also go for a Moonblast Earthquake. I can't Earthquake right now. Yeah, this should be enough to take the Porygon out. If you want to go Protect, Prime Croc, my Lele Sash, you're fine. We don't know if the Dura Ludon is Scarped either. Does Max Dark not drop uh, Special Defense if it KOs? It doesn't drop because we're Clear Body. There's no Turkey Mons. I'm using a Zapdos. Oh, Sash is up on that guy. Never lucky. But we are going to be able to get the KO here. KO secured. I kind of wish that I went after the Dura Ludon here because he would have ticked himself out from Life Orb and we would have got a double. That's fine. We're, we're eventually just going to... He's probably going to cock a Lele Sash like a Flash Cannon. And there's like nothing he can do against uh, Metagross, I would say. Because next turn we have like Earthquake on the board. We haven't fucked our policy yet. Like, please just Dark Pulse me. Unless you're Specs. Flash Cannon, that's fine. Huh, you're weak! You are weak, my friend. Unpheasant. Yo, I wish. I've never used that thing before. I always forget it's even in the game. What is this Pokemon? Ooh, the big boy. Can I deal with that? I don't outspeed with Lele, but he has his... Um, I don't know if I die there. I will, will Moonblast. I actually think I'm gonna go for the Moonblast EQ. Because we'll go to the dumpster... Let's see, let's see. This is gonna be close. Close game. Moonblast. This is gonna clock Sash, Chief. Sash is up. Oh, he's just dead. Bro. What's up? And I outspeed I outsped you too. Were you like banned? Were you like adamant banded? I'm just gonna dumpster my own Lele. <laughs> I'm just gonna end my own Lele's career right now. And let's see what he goes for. Yeah, Dark Pulse Chief? Flash Cannon, not today. I wish him Pheasant was slightly better. It's my favorite regional bird. Really? I'm so I'm very surprised to hear that. Because like oh yeah, I, I have a tailwind up. I forgot that I said tailwind that game. That's how free this is. <laughs> He's gonna take me to Flinch Town now with Dark Pulse. You still have tailwind? I know, right? I completely forgot. <laughs> Yo, we take those. He should have what could he have even done then? Because, like, he had to have been choiced, because we already saw his orb, right? And he wasn't sashed, so he had to be choice banded. And then we had psychic train up, so we were fine. Well, let's go Tyrantrum, and... Do I want Metagross this game? I think I do. Sorry, uh, Crobat, I'm sorry. Metagross then, and then we just want Lele in the back. Sash Lele is so good. Lele is actually super, super good against this guy's team in general. I want to see if they're going to lead with, uh, Amoongus. All right, let's go win. What team? His team or my team? We'll see. I think, I, you know, I actually almost used Malamar at Dallas. I almost used Malamar at Dallas. I almost used it, and I talked myself out of it at the last minute. I used Gastron instead. Part of me wishes I used Malamar because it's such a cool Pokemon, and we fought so many Arcanines at Dallas. You would have just been free. Arcanine has, like, nothing to deal with Malamar. I want to see what the Magmortar does. And we're leading with a uh, Crobat just so we can like pseudo deal with a Braviary. I don't really want to deal with the the Thunderous, but I think we're fine. Yo, what's good? Not much. We're just streaming some fun games. Going up against the Juggernaut. Yo, Amoongus has his Juggernaut cosplay on right now. And let's see what we can do. Let's see. I I want to hit one Horn Drill. I swear. Actually, so I've used a lot of Oko teams in the past, like Fisher, Sheer Cold, stuff like that. You know, I've used videos featuring this Tyrantrum. I have one time had a four-hour stream where I went for Horn Drill in, like, every single game and didn't hit one with this Tyrantrum. So, like, if there was one Pokemon that had a subpar affinity for hitting Oko moves, it's this Pokemon. So we gotta change that. Can you Bulldoze to speed up Malamar? I can. I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> but I think we just gotta go after the Braviary here. Because a, there's a high chance he maxes it. So we're just going to Tailwind and go up to the Braviary. I hope that's not like a Scarf Magmortar. We could probably just double into it. I'm just going to Airstream with my Crobat. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Big Crobat time. And you're probably like, what? Why does your Crobat have Brave Bird? This is actually a really cool Crobat. Uh, it's an offensive Crobat. It's one of my favorite Crobat sets. Uh, Crobat has a higher base attack than Talonflame. And now that it has Inner Focus, you can't Intimidate it. 
So it makes it for a really, really good maximum. At least in my opinion. But there's one pet, or one thing you wouldn't expect to be Dynamax this game, and that's Crobat. No one's that you're never gonna see this ever again. It's the first time. First and only time anyone's ever maxed this thing. I think it's funny, Crobat came out, and then like no one's using it. I think Crobat's still really, really cool. I think special Crobat's very underrated as well. Head smash connections. Yeet! Is that Sash? Look at me making the right plays. Look at me making the right plays, respecting Sash Braviary? Bruh. Bruh, that was that was amazing. I wonder what the crow what the Mag Mortar is doing. I think it definitely does make pink work, you're right. Ouch. Yeah, my Mortar is one of the few um Pokemon that can be mixed sweepers. Could definitely be mixed. So let's see, we got big crowbat, we got a sharp beak, we do big damage. We can probably actually take out the Magmortar from here. So he's gonna be thinking we're gonna go after it with Head Smash, but we're not. We're gonna ignore it. And we're gonna nuke the thing that comes up with a Head Smash and another Brave Bird. Yeah, ooh. Is it Prankster though? I'm just gonna kill it, is it dead? The Airstream will get redirected into the uh, Magmortar anyways. Yeah, we got it. We got him. As long as we hit our head smash, right? As long as we hit our head smash, we got him. Massive Crobat. You might just put you. So I bet you money that EQ is actually just there to be able to KO Heatran. Because if we're looking at it, like how much damage did they do to a Tyrantrum, who has a pretty significant base defense? Imagine if they did like that damage four times. Um, or, or at least two more times. One more time. To like a, uh, like a Heatran. Or stock attack or something like that. So I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. He might have just put EQ on it because he likes EQ, but usually, uh, you know, you'd only really run that to check E-Tram. He's going Max Mag Mortar. I remember when this uh, Pokemon was like super big in like singles in Gen 4. I remember it was like really, really popular. I never really liked it. I was never a big fan. Thunder Wave on my Crobat. Yo, never lucky. Prankster Thunderous. Busting out the golden oldie. About to be losing it all right now. Yeet. I bet I still outspeed this Magmortar. Nah, probably not. Probably not. Oh my gosh, I do. <laughs> Feels amazing. Big damage. That's the power of an offensive Crobat. Look how much damage that did to his Maximon. Look how much bigger we are, by the way. Our Crobat is huge. It's like, yeah, that might be a Dynamax Magmortar, but bro, you small. Is that Steel Spike? No, Tyrantrum. Never lucky. Never lucky, Tyrantrum. Is that Defense Boost? I'm just bringing out Lele, I think. Poor Tyrantrum, man. Lele set the train. Lele Metagross is still so good. Haxorus. Yo, my boy, Hax. We got it. We don't outspeed the Haxorus, but we are sashed, right? So we shouldn't be able to get flinched, really. You know, these things don't get Iron Head. They have to use Iron Tail. So we'd have to be, like, Rock Sliding. And we outspeed the Haxorus now at this point. This is Physical Magmortar. It's not bad. He has a decent physical attack stat. We can kill him from right here, though. And we'll go for a massive Airstream into that slot. So that we got it. EQ Iron Tail. But the thing is, it's like, Iron Tail doesn't flinch into his EQ. So he has to flinch right lately because we're sashed. He had to be, like, a Scarf Rock Slide set. Which he totally can be, like a Scarf Rock Slide set. Actually, we still outspeed him if he's not Scarf, we still outspeed because Thunderwave cuts your speed in half and I'm at plus two. And this Crobat, it's pretty fast. So let's see it. Protect. Awesome. Feels protect, man. And let's go Airstream. 95 is not great. Wait, are you talking about um, like the Mag Border attack? Yeah, it's totally usable. It's higher than Flygon, isn't it? It's like the same number. It's enough to KO with, like, what is it? It's enough to KO Heatrans with Earthquake. Yeah, we'll take that. And let's go. Crobat. I like Crobat, man. It's one of my absolute favorite Pokemon. One of my absolute favorites. Didn't even need the Tailwind. Like, it, you pretty much just play it like a like a really, really aggressive Talonflame. 
but it's one of my favorite sets. And you, because we're using Sharp Beak, we're not showing the fact that we have like a damage boosting item. So like you could use a Life Orb instead, but I don't want to show that we're not Sash. Like right now he's respecting our Sash, which isn't even on the Crobat, it's on the Layaway. So it makes the team in general just play like so much safer because they'll be able to go all in on those Layaways expecting Scarf, but the Scarf section on the Tyrantrum. And so that's what makes the team like really, really fun to play when you're just goofing around and playing for fun games. Like if we go look at it, I feel if you were to look at this team in the team preview, you would see like probably Scarf Lele. You'd say probably Weakness Policy Assault Vest on the Salmon's Metagross, maybe even a Scarf on the Salmon's. Uh, Zapdos is predominantly using Orb or Lumberry. And the Crobat looks like it's Sash. And then the Lele, because we have like dedicated Tailwind users, it looks like it'd probably be Specs Lele. And so it's just something that people don't actually really understand is like where we can get away with making your opponent respect the item choices and gives us so much more freedom.